All right, let's go over crude oil. So the first thing you're going to do, like I said, is you're going to find out when you log in in these markets. Let's look at yesterday's trade was a huge trade, almost a thousand dollar trade. Now look at today's trade we're in right now on this move up for you members here, right here on this chart. So the first thing you got to do, like I said, is the market can only do two things. It's either going to trend or it's going to chop. It's been doing that every since market profile has been around for 33 years, right? So what's the trend? The best way to find the trend, let me reiterate, is look at this magenta MA. We have this trend filter built into your market profile chart. Market profile is the roadmap of the market. These red, blue, and green levels. We had a nice trade here a second ago, and I'll show you how, how we pop in it. Let's look at yesterday, and then we'll look at uh, the trade that just happened a second ago and, and how, how we enter the trades. What's the trend? That's the first thing you establish. When you sit down at your trading desk, ask yourself, whatever market you're looking at, S&P 500, Dow Minis, doesn't matter, NASDAQ Futures, I don't care what you look at, Russell 2000, look at that magenta MA off the market profile. If it's angled down, you have yourself a seller's market. You want to sell retracements. The best way to do is take arrows that are going to first cross over and retest for a sell. The first cross retest with a red arrow, remember the arrows fire at a sweet spot, it's typically a 62% retracement from the previous swing. That's when they're going to fire. They fire in a sweet spot in the market. So what you want to do is we were angled down yesterday afternoon. Look at the angle. Look at the hard angle on the magenta MA. I'm not worried about the white MA, like I said. That white MA is a secondary MA. What I do want to look for that white MA is to do this pattern. It's like a little hook pattern. You see how the white MA gets out of alignment. Imagine a car driving down through the middle of this chart right here. Car tracks through snow or, or what have you. Notice how they're running parallel right here, and then all of a sudden, this white MA gets out of whack. It start getting, gets away from the longer term MA. Once it, the price starts coming back up, and it starts like a little hook, looks like a little seagull opening its mouth, you have, you have what's called a retracement cell coming up. And that retracement cell, you want to really look at, I have two charts over here on my arrows, a longer term and a shorter term chart. The longer term to the left, it's a five sim Renko, three sim to the right. You want to look for a cross retracement back up and arrows to fire for entry. Once those arrows fire like I did yesterday right here, you want to look for a negative red market delta below to fire you in the trade. Your stop loss will be two ticks above that swing high then. What I want you to look at is this though. I want you to look at this pattern. Look how this like, looks like a little seagull right here. Looks like a little seagull over here on my market profile chart. Magenta MA hard down. MA gets out of whack. This happens all the time in trend and the sweetest spots in the market to get short. Look how right here we got a little hook. Look over here on my arrow chart. Doesn't it look like the same pattern? Looks like a little seagull here. Look, look how it gets out of whack with the longer term full retracement. Now this magenta MA over here, I prefer taking signals off the magenta MA on both charts. Because this one right here was a good one right here also this morning on the shorter term chart. It's real close to that magenta MA on the first retracement after the cross. There's your cross. There's your first retracement. Try to get as close to that magenta MA as possible. Here you're hitting it. Actually exceeded it, which is even better. So look at that same pattern. Now look how identical these things are. Look, look, look how that looks like a little hook pattern right there. See it hook? Look at the hook right there on the arrows over here. Look at the long-term chart. Look at the hook. It's telling you you're going to have a possible huge retracement short. I want you to really get used to this pattern where you first cross and you get a fast retracement back up to a full retracement on that magenta MA. Those are going to be some of your most profitable trades you're going to see. And I'm going to show you how it worked yesterday in the morning also, two back-to-back -back trades that were huge. That is what you want to look at. Cross. Retrace right back up. Look for a continuation. When you take trades like that, you can see, look at this. Look at the movement we get. Look at that trade. Up the exact high right there on that retracement short with the negative market delta right here on the bottom right chart. 
So that's how they marry up. If you see that marry up together, if you see this hook pattern, I'm telling you, you see this all the time in trend. You're going to see thousands of trades like this over the years. It's going to, Magenta MA is going to be down, you're going to hook. Watch for the arrows across. Watch for the cross. Watch for the first arrow to fire. It's been your best trade. Now, I did have other retracements right here on the second arrow. You can get away with taking second arrows on the longer-term chart. You can get away with it because what it does, it gives you a wave five opportunity. Here's how that retracement up there into the longer-term MA again. You get another shot at the wave five. What I'd be very careful with, with these arrows, if you start taking arrows that are all the way down, that's gotten away after you the first cross. If you do not participate in that first or second away pattern, you don't have a high chance of success because the market's already moving. So we've got to be careful now. We've got to make sure we understand that. Got to be careful. Now on the way up, let's take a look on the way up yesterday, and then we'll go to today's trade. I got three three market profiles that are very important. I got the solid green, the solid blue, the solid red. What I say the most important thing is, what's the trend? I cannot stress that enough. If you get that right, you're going to kill, kill some of these trades on these arrow trades. You're going to really do well if it marries up against market profile because there's a lot of great trades that happen off of that. What's the trend? So if I look here versus here, now if I look at this one, if I look like yesterday morning, it's totally different than yesterday afternoon, isn't it? It's totally different than yesterday afternoon because yesterday morning, I'm angled hard up. Where yesterday afternoon, I'm angled hard down. So look how these were sell retracements. Look how we're hard, hard, angled hard up. Now, the three most pro, important profiles are red, blue, and, and red. Red, blue, and green, I'm sorry. And this thin red line and thin green line will catch these trades like crazy. It caught the low yesterday to the almost to the tick right there. Look at this breakout retracement. It's called a buy retracement. And we had this this morning. just happened a second ago. Look how it stopped to the exact tick yesterday. Look how it stopped right to the exact tick. Those are the trades that I want you to take. Here, here on profile, right? Very, very, very great resistant trades. Let's take a look at this one over here. We're in a downtrend in the morning. We were in a downtrend. Look at the angle of the magenta. Don't worry about the white so much, but check this out. Love this trade yesterday. You should have all caught this. Look how the magenta is angled down. Does everybody see my seagull right there? See that little hook pattern? I want you to look at these two retracements where the arrows fired yesterday to qualify your trade. The fire they fired there. I want to show you the same setup. This little hook pattern. It's awesome. All right, so these are two big trades that happened yesterday with the arrows and how the market profile and the trend can really help you out. That was two times confluence right there also. So let me show you how this married up. So if I look at 9 o'clock, if I look at the 9, 9 trade, okay, here it is. Here's 9.42. Here's 9.42. Now watch. Look at the first cross retracement. First cross retracement. First cross hook back up. It's almost like an ABC. You break and you retest right back up. You break and you retest right back up. And like I said, you can get away with the second test. I mean, the second wave down on a retracement, but you better look for the little hook. Now, here's the little hook again. Now, look. Now, let me show you. Stay away from trades like this where it's way, from, way away from a full retracement. See how that's way away from a full retracement? See how that's way away? Now, I want you to look at this hook pattern. Look at the seagull on this short-term chart right here. Look, it looks just like a seagull, doesn't it? See that? Now, look over here on your longer-term chart. Look how these marry up together. Look at this. They match perfect. See that? Looks like a little seagull after it starts retracing back up. Looks like a little seagull. We trace it back up. This is a great full retracement arrow short. Great full retracement arrow short. And the arrows called them perfectly. Okay, so you got to understand that. Now, if we go to today's action, let's take a look at today's action. What is the trend of my MA right now? 
Well, it's a downtrend this morning, and we had sell setups. Sell setups this morning. So we've been in an uptrend since around 5 o'clock this morning. We crossed up. We started angling back up. Notice how right here we broke outside a high value and, and retested the red thin line again. This is a great arrow short here. The arrow actually produced an arrow short here this morning. And here's a great one here just happened. Look how the arrow had alignment over here. First cross retest. I want you to get as close as you can to a full retracement. Full retracements are the best. That's a full retracement right there. So when positive market delta hits, what you did, 173 down here, that's where I want you to get along the market. And you do that every day. It's the best way to do it. So that's how you can qualify the trade. But when the market's trending down, I'm telling you that the really easy ones to pick off are these little hook patterns. Three of them happened, or four of them happened yesterday. Sorry. Now watch. Let me show you, and you're like this. There's one, two, three, four. This is the hottest spot for the market right here. Right there again. Down here. Darn it. See, there's that little hook. Get that retracement back up. Arrow fired right there also. Here, look at the little hook. That's the biggest arrow that we had yesterday for a huge almost thousand dollar trade. Right there. So I want you to be prepared on trend like that. Is it when the when the solid when the smaller here's another one. When the smaller MA gets out of whack, look for that arrow, arrows to cross and look for a short opportunity. These are the shorts I want to see in retracements because they'll marry up real nice over here. And then if you do have a break retest, this thin red or thin red or green line and a retest, they did yesterday and today. See, that was a nice short with arrows. Here's a nice long. Here's a long off high value area also. The arrow long right here in a short time frame. That wasn't a full retracement though. Those are going to be your best trades. And you can really, really do yourself great service by just concentrating on those trades when they happen. If you see them get out of line and the white gets out of line with a longer term MA, you can cherry pick a nice trade.